It may seem easy to be able to distinguish a fake news article from a real one. However, a Straits Times news article dated in 2018 reports how even though 4 in 5 Singaporeans are confident in spotting fake news, over 90% mistakenly identify at least one out of the five fake headlines as real. What's more, fake news is constantly being spread to other people over messaging applications and social media, luring more people to believe information that is actually untrue. This is the underlying motivation behind our project, to be able to use machine learning to classify a random news article as real or fake. So to go about doing this, we had quite a lot of algorithms to choose from. However, we have decided to focus on algorithms that are meant to work well with text recognition and processing, which in this case are Googlebird, CNN, and RNN. And why is this the case? Well, we know that when we read any English sentence, the order of words matter. Naive base and logistic regression do not take this into account when processing the text. By contrast, the way BERT, CNN, and RN operate takes into account that the order of words matter in the English sentence, which is why we decided to focus on them instead. So what exactly do these algorithms do? In general, they first read the text input before passing through several layers where the input is transformed or processed by the algorithm. In the end, the algorithm gives a final output on whether the article is real or fake. Our first model is RNN, where instead of just passing the input through layers, it has an additional loop which acts as a memory to keep track of the text. The words are input one at a time in sequence before being processed and transformed by the algorithm to give an output. For CNN, instead of reading the text in sequence, the words are converted into numerical features before being input into the algorithm. We then apply a filter to extract features of the text, which are combined into what we call a feature map, and this is used to determine whether a news is real or fake. Lastly, BERT is a special method that does more than just converting a text input. Unlike other models, BERT treats whole sentences as inputs and is able to process phrases that cannot be interpreted literally, such as this example here. In this way, BERT is able to read like a human and determine if an article is genuine. So these are the results we got. Throughout this project, we learn how neural networks are more appropriate in this context and that processing data is extremely important before being input into the algorithm. And we hope that through this we are able to curb the spread of fake news as much as possible.